So the first step in using somatic cell counts to manage subclinical mastitis is to estimate how many cows have subclinical infections. We call that estimating the prevalence of subclinical infections in the herd. So the first thing to think about is what do you need to do this? And that's pretty simple. All you need to estimate prevalence is individual somatic cell count values each month for each milking cows. The formula for estimating the prevalence of subclinical mastitis is very simple. You simply take the number of cows that exceed the threshold, such as 200,000 cells per mil, and divide that by the number of cows that have valid somatic cell count tests. For example, if you have 100 cows that were tested for somatic cell count and 20 of them are above 200,000, your prevalence is 20%. Now what's a realistic goal for prevalence? Well, based on data from many, many herds around the world, it's very achievable for the best herds to have less than 15% of their herd exceed 200,000 cells per mil. In thousands of herds that are routinely tested each month here in the upper Midwest, 20% of the herds will achieve this goal. And overall, across all herd size that are tested, our, the average prevalence of subclinical infection in our region is about 18%. Now there's different types of um, computer programs that can uh, graphically display prevalence and we're showing one of them here. You can see on the vertical axis you've got simply a percentage ranging from 0 to 100%. And you can see that there's a different number of bars the, on the horizontal axis, what we're looking at is different monthly tests. And what you'll see here simply is that the green bars are the healthy cows with somatic cell count less than 200,000 and the red indicate the, somat the percentage of the herd that exceeds 200,000. And in this particular herd, you'll see that it varies a little bit from about, oh, maybe 10 to 20 percent depending on the month. Now, after we've estimated the prevalence, we have to think about how are we doing? And we have to think about what are the consequences of exceeding the goal? Well, when our prevalence of subclinical mastitis goes up, we have bad things that happen to our heart, herd. We have reduced milk production. We have an increased risk of clinical mastitis. For the cows that are around their um, breeding period, we have reduced conception rates and we have increased pregnancy loss. And ultimately, if the prevalence goes up, we're going to have an increased bulk tank somatic cell count and increased culling. In the next part of this series, we're going to talk about measuring new infections. Mm -hmm.